action. It's, it's crispy. Oh my god, bro. What that brain right oh behind you! What's going on everybody welcome back to the channel oh my goodness y'all we have done it 300 plus subscribers way ahead of time i mean i just can't i can't explain it man i can just say thank you thank you so much for you know subscribing liking the videos getting the getting the videos to everybody that wants to see it man because dude i remember when i had like just one subscriber and i was like man i don't know if i really want to do this but then it started picking up over time, over time. And then now it's just starting to blow over. So we are officially starting our road to 1K. So 1K brings a whole lot of new things. So that's why we're working with what we have. Right now I record off the iPhone, but I do want to have like a PC where I could do um, video, video editing. And I could also do uh, like maybe some gameplay captures and everything through the PC so I can cut the video up so it looks a little bit more nice. You get nicer quality on your end. So help you, right? Help me, right? So thank y'all so much for subscribing. A milestone definitely, because most channels, they don't get past 100 subscribers. So we're at 300 plus. So thank you all so much. But today is a really cool video, kind of keeping along the same trend as like the gun collection videos, but this one's a little special. So I do live in the South, uh, all my North boys, sorry. Maybe we could do like a, a, another natural disaster for you all. But this is like a, like a disaster scenario. So like my gun collection during a hurricane evacuation. So there's a lot of things that come to play with this. You have to be smart. So you have to know what you can carry. I have a LTC license to carry, a permit to carry, all that. So. I'm not really worried about having firearms on me when I switch states or wherever I go. So um, first thing is you need to look at the laws. Know what's going, know what you can carry, know what the rules are. I think with firearms, especially if they're registered in another state, you wanna, you wanna just make it as smooth as possible if you do come across the law or if you come across you know, anyone affiliated with the law. So yeah, y'all, this is gonna be that video, man. I'm, I'm excited for this. So uh, let's just hop straight into it. Um, the first one's gonna be a shocker. I know a lot of people uh, <laughs> have been having uh, issues with this one, but it's been treating me nice. But here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. There it is. Taurus GX4. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Uh, while I talk about the green screen. Y'all see the background? We're going crazy, man. <laughs> Trying to do like a little celebration video too, all in one. But uh, let's see, I'm gonna put it back in the holster. Yeah, so Taurus GX4 in the holster. We want to call it quality control, check everything and everything. Y'all see that big mag right there? It's a 13 round. But uh, let me turn it around where you can see. But yeah, I would take this one. Definitely, this is number one. So I was, I was like stuck between the Glock 43 and the Taurus GX4. And what I thought about, I was like, bruh, if I'm gonna carry anything, especially somewhere where I don't know, I'm definitely carrying something with more capacities because the Glock 43 only has six, bro. It only has six. You can get plus, plus three, plus four, plus five. That's not, it doesn't look as small as this because this is the 13 round mag. That's it. That's everything. So um, I would definitely would take this one, man, because I feel comfortable wearing it on my hip. And two, I haven't had any issues with it. And I shot uh, this, uh, the, well, I've done an updated video um, on the range footage for this. So I've shot close to a thousand rounds to this and no malfunctions. It's actually gotten better since I've shot it. So um, I do feel sorry for everyone that, <laughs> that has had trouble with this. But this is really, I think I'm gonna start carrying this other than the Glock 43, just for the capacity. But for the sake of this video and the hurricane evacuation gun collection video, oh, that's that's pretty good, Hur hurricane evacuation gun collection. That's pretty good. 
So, uh, yeah, man, uh, definitely this at number one, right? So, there we go. We'll put it down. I'm working with the green screen, y'all, so it's like I can't show the gun on the on the table. It's just it's tight in here. It's tight. Y'all subscribe, man. I'm trying to trying to upgrade. But can y'all guess number two? Can y'all guess number two? You should be able to guess number two. Maybe not because it's not my favorite, but it's becoming my favorite. All right, here it is. It's a Glock box, but which Glock? Uh-huh. If you haven't seen my gun collection video, go check it out, right? I have a few Glocks, but you don't know what Glock this is. I'm gonna get straight into it, man. This, this, it's, it's burning, it's, it's burning the 17 off, man. It's burning the 17 off. And by that, you should know, Glock 19. Glock 19, bro, like, this is it. This is it. I hate to say this. It might be taking the spot for the uh, the uh, the Glock 17, man. The 17 is just too big. It's too big. I love it. Like if I'm shooting fast, I mean the accuracy is just on. There's no recoil. But it's the same with this one. <laughs> it's the same. And once I put the light on there, it has like zero muzzle flip. It's, everything is just bang, 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 bang. It's amazing. So in the collection of the Hurricane Evacuation, I'm taking this one. This one just, it's just perfect. It's perfect, man. Like I aim, it's, it's wonderful. I can hit somebody with the beam, right? I can hit them with this beam. Like, oh man, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. So um, yeah, definitely Glock Generation 5. Uh, G19. Um, 15 rounds. The other one has 13, so I'm winning there. So whichever one I carry, it has high capacity, so I'm not really worried. Uh, the seven, the 17 obviously has 17 rounds, but uh, I I wouldn't take it with me. I would leave it in the safe because this is really talking about uh, if you're going to carry a pistol, especially like in a evacuation uh, scenario, I'm definitely going to have it on my hip. <laughs> So um, yeah, I would definitely go. Th th this is th this is what I would wear. I would like to wear the Taurus. So let me explain. So the Taurus is it's so hot, man. Like in the South, it, it's so hot, and I would sweat all over this. I was and I just got it, and I'm just like, I don't want to mess the finish up, right? Everybody's like that. They don't want to mess the finish up, but bro, the Taurus it shoots so good and it's so small. So if I don't want, if I'm wearing like shorts or if I'm wearing, um, yeah, like just shorts and shorts and a t-shirt, I could put it in my pocket in the holster. Uh, I have like a special set of pants that has like, you can put the holster in the pocket and then you can pull. Um, you could also wear it on just the, the, the shorts itself and it'll, it'll, it'll release. So, um, the Taurus and if I'm wearing shorts, but if I'm wearing pants, like, which is like most of the time, I'm definitely going to be carrying this because this is a Glock. Glocks go bang every time. I don't have anything to worry about. Everything is just cut stone Glock. This is it. The only thing is I can't find a holster that will allow me to have this attachment and, um, yeah, j just this attachment. So bruh that's the only that's the only thing about it and i haven't thought about getting another light because i mean this one's fine it does everything it needs to do so that uh i think one of the subscribers was telling me about uh getting like a custom holster i really don't want to do that but i mean i'm not changing Th this setup this setup is perfect man th th this setup is perfect it's you know what i'm saying so yeah the magazine drops so good it's just it's it's great it's great so there it is I, I could keep talking about the Glock 19. I love it. It's it's my new favorite. It's my new favorite officially. And finally, you can only take three with you, because I mean you have your like your light light carry. It's still nine millimeter, but it's light, right? I have my pretty much like going out carrying the 19, and then wherever I'm at, if I'm in a car, if I'm in uh, a hotel, hopefully. Uh, story time really quick. Um, I actually grew up in the, like before Katrina and everything like that. So I, I'm a New Orleans, 
native, but I have to evacuate due to Katrina. And a little scenario that I wish I would have had, not myself, because I was a kid, but either my, my mom or my dad had like a firearm because we actually got robbed for gas while we were evacuating. So we were driving and there was like a, like a pile up of traffic and the people were getting out of their cars at gunpoint, pulling people like, to stay right there. And they would siphon your gas so they could keep going further. What? Like, oh my God, man. Like, and we got our gas siphoned just like 15 or 20 other people that got their gas siphoned. And it was so crazy because we were just in the car and they're just emptying our gas. Just crazy, man. They have to send fire trucks with gas to come get people off the road. And this is all during when the storm is getting bad. So Katrina was terrible. Category uh, category five is just, it's terrible, right? It's the worst thing that could happen. And everybody thought it wasn't gonna be that bad, but it ended up being that bad. So we don't play with hurricanes down here. So I will protect my family. I will protect my loved ones. I will do anything I can to make sure everything is done properly and we are prepared, right? So always have a backpack, keep keep the gap. And um, yeah, man, it's, you can't, can't, can't get caught slacking. That's pretty much it. Cause boys robbing, man, especially when it comes to like a natural disaster and there's nothing else they can do other than rob. So they, they can take care of their family. People gonna rob, man. So um, yeah, but the last one on the list, I had to get that story time in. I'll probably move it around. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But uh, the last one I would have to protect the crib, to protect wherever I'm laying my head at night, the, the oh, I need something, right? <sighs> Maverick 88. This is, this is the one. This is the one, man. Like, if, if anything happens, like, oh man, I need to, I, I need to grab something. And I can't get to this for whatever reason. I can't get to this. This. This has got my back. Every time. Every time. Yo, I just I, I shot this. This is I see why. If you if you're gonna have any collection, you need to have a shotgun. You need to have one because you can shoot birdshot, which is left uh sorry, tongue twister, less lethal. Yeah, birdshot. But see here. Your boy didn't hit big. Let's see if I can put it on the camera. There we go. See that? It's that buckshot. It's that buckshot. Oh, hold on. Let me turn it this way. So I can see. Oh yeah, there's more. There's more. There's more. Ah, I'm just gonna do two. I got like like seven boxes down here. See that? It's that buckshot, man. So I finally hit big with the ammo. I'm not gonna take it to the range anymore. I shot more than what I need. You will be getting a video soon, but if anything happens, this will be there. <laughs> this will be there, man, because if you hear this and that was soft, you're going to deter. You're going to deter. For whatever reason, I can't get to this. This is the go-to, right? This is the, I, I you could one-hand it, right? You could one-hand it, turn it to the side a little bit, and this here if you pull this it's over it's over all you need is strategic placement this is what you need so those are my three uh three weapons i would take in the case of an emergency not a zombie outbreak that'll be the next one the zombie outbreak uh collection but yeah man make sure y'all click the subscribe button because i have the range footage coming to y'all i have a few other things that's coming um also some more live streams for playstation 5 so the channel's fresh man Tell your friends to come by, stop by, man. And uh, I'll see y'all in the comments, all right? Peace.